On Google Trends, Pokemon Go is currently bigger than Donald Trump, Earth, Wieners, even Minecraft. There were a few days when Pokemon Go was bigger in Google searches than porn. Porn! People took a break from Pikachu and dig pics to go catch Pikachus and Diglets. It's huge. So if you don't think people could change the world with Pokemon Go, you're wrong. I'm gonna give you a few examples of how other people have changed the world with Pokemon Go, and also three tips of how you can change the world with Pokemon Go as well. So stay tuned. Here are a few ways that people have already changed the world with Pokemon Go. Number one, the Westboro Baptist Church. Hate-mongering church. Everybody hates them, which is fitting because they hate everyone else for all sorts of dumb reasons. Being gay or having brown eyes or something, I don't know. The Westboro Baptist Church is a Pokemon gym, and one Pokemon Go player took over the gym with a dainty, pink, pretty Clefairy named Love is Love. That is like the sweetest F you to the Westboro Baptist Church. Those idiot bigots over there probably couldn't even figure out how to take over their gym again. It went viral. It was huge. And all it took was one Pokemon Go player with a great idea. Another way that Pokemon Go users are changing the world is that they are currently crushing the stigma that only nerds play video games. Turns out, Everybody plays video games. All sorts of people. Pokemon Go players have burnt the video game nerd stigma to the ground. And from the ashes, rose a Moltres. And then we caught it in our Pokeball. Even I never thought I would see a 30-something put-together woman shouting, Get in my freaking Pokeballs! at her phone. And I'm woke as fu Small businesses have been using Pokemon Go to bring in new customers because a lot of these businesses have Pokestops. And the Pokemon Go playing business owners are putting lures on their Pokestops, which is luring Pokemon, which is in turn luring customers to their business, who then need to buy some, you know, snacks or something, a cookie. Pokemon Go players need those cookies for energy so that they can keep hunting them Pokemon. I saw a drink deal in San Francisco, actually, that said, tell us, show us your rare Pokemon, give us a tip on where you can find it, and we'll give you a free drink. That actually wasn't, that probably wasn't a, a management approved deal. I should probably bleep out the bar. Pokemon Go players are getting healthy. I mean, it's the first time I've ever seen that someone is a high level in a video game and assumed that they're in great shape. But you want to change the world. You're a good person. I'm going to give you three ways that you can change the world with Pokemon Go. Number one, you can help charities using Pokemon Go. I mentioned that businesses are putting Pokemon lures on Pokemon stops. Charities can totally do the same thing. Businesses are a little bit more, I guess, business minded, that makes sense, about that stuff. And so they often are, are the first ones to discover these little tricks to bring in customers. So you can actually give these tips to charities so that they can do the same. If there's a, uh, a Poke Stop at a charity, give them a call or go inside and say, hey, you can actually lure in some potential donors if you just put a lure <laughs> on this Pokestop. And maybe put a sign out that says free cookie for any Pokemon Go player who makes a donation to our cause. We gotta hunt those Pokemon and we gotta eat cookies. Way number two to change the world with Pokemon Go. You can be a friend to somebody who needs one. Pokemon Go gives you the rare opportunity to let socially anxious people know that the world around them is actually a pretty good place to be. Be extra nice to them. If you want to find out who the Pokemon Go players nearby are, just go to a crowded coffee shop and shout, Oh my god, a Dragonite! And then see who looks at their phone as their eyes light up. Oh, it'll work. Find somebody who looks like kind of socially uh, anxious or uncomfortable around people and be extra nice to them. Be a friend. Ask for tips on Pokemon Go. Give them tips. Give them a cookie that you got from donating to charity. Because you never know if that's going to be the thing where it clicks for them and they go, hey, maybe people aren't so bad. Maybe I'm going to go outside more often. And then they go out and they, they make some friends and they get a girlfriend, they have a love life. You never know if the nice thing that you did is what turns their life around. So it's just good to do a nice thing when you get a chance. Way number three to change the world with Pokemon Go. Create a community around you. Communities have been linked with increased happiness, increased health, lower stress, all sorts of things. The benefits of a community uh, cannot be overstated. 
and you can actually make one with Pokemon Go. Team Mystic will obviously be the best choice. Team Valor, that works too. Even if you accidentally pick Team Instinct, you can make a community. You actually don't need to go by your team colors for the community. Everybody can be friends. You can create like Pokemon Go safaris and parks and invite people uh, into Facebook groups. You can go on a Pokemon Go pub crawl if you're all above age 21. Pokestops are often murals and pieces of art if you're in a city. So that that's a ready-made art walk. There are a lot of ways that you can organize a community around Pokemon Go. It's easier now than ever to do good things for the world while having a ton of fun. If you have any other ideas for ways that Pokemon Go players can change the world, you can leave them in the comments. Oh, subscribe to my channel. I went to New Zealand once and the sheep there have actually the exact same relationship with traffic as stoners who are distracted by Pokemon Go. So don't be that guy. Don't, <laughs> I don't know, be careful.